So this uh, water pump is actually 9.4 amps at 110. So a little over a thousand watts is what it's going to consume. And uh, it's one horsepower. So I misspoke earlier. So it's a little bit more amperage. So here's that tail section. It's off now so that it'll fit into the four, four inch shaft. And then here's the check valve installed now. And then here's the safety rope. And here is the line. I don't know if you, let me turn it over so you could see it. Okay. And then about 10 feet away, I have this little red weep hole. Now, normally you would put the weep hole uh, below the frost line. So my well is um, uh, is going to be uh, the the pump is going to be submerged 190 feet. And so my frost line here in the Ozarks, it's probably around 18 inches. So normally a weep hole would go there. But um, here's the lesson in the realities of installation. If you ever have to remove that thing, uh, you have um, 190 feet of uh, a column of water that you're lifting up. That represents probably more than... Uh, 10 gallons or so of water that you're also lifting. So it's better to have a weep hole down here. Also, it'll alleviate the pressure um, on the check valve, which is all the way close to the motor here. Um, so a lot of uh, water won't be sitting in there all the time. It'll just be about 10 feet of water. Um, and then, I, of course, I don't have to now worry about the frost line because the weep hole's all the way down there. And then it'll probably be submerged with the... Um, with the with the unit and uh, here's the underground wire and uh, and the safety safety rope and then uh, next we'll go ahead and put it into the uh, well 